In this video, we are unboxing the brand new AGM H5 Pro rugged smartphone and the Glory charging dock. And then we are going to run it over with a car and lots of other fun stuff. Now, this phone just dropped at the end of August in 2022. So I want to give a big, big shout out to Una. I hope I'm saying that right from AGM for hooking me up with this so we could test it out. Now AGM actually made the first ever rugged smartphone back in 2011 so it's really cool to see them still rocking in 2022. First let's unbox this phone. Now this phone costs $320 on Amazon. Check the description below for a link. What's in the box? We've got a SIM needle right here, some sweet AGM stickers, a multi-language user manual and quick start guide, warranty information, an AC charger, USB data cable, two extra waterproof plugs, one for the SIM card slash TF slot on the side of the phone, and one for the three and a half millimeter headphone jack slash USB-C charging port at the bottom of the phone. Now, let's check out the phone itself. The first thing I noticed is how heavy it is. It weighs 361 grams 12.7 ounces or 0.79 pounds according to my mother's kitchen scale now compare that to the doji v20's 296 grams or the nokia xr20's 248 grams and it does seem a little bit heavy but the agm h5 pro has a much bigger 7000 milliamp hour battery so it makes sense that it would be a little bit heavy there's a screen protector already installed on the phone's 6.52 inch lcd screen they don't say what kind it is but we'll put it to the test here in a minute. The IPS display is at 720 by 1600 resolution, which takes it down a little bit from the Glory Pro's 2340 by 1080p resolution. Here's the waterproof covering for the USB-C and headphone jack here on the bottom and the main mic to the right of it. Definitely a rugged design to everything on this phone. The buttons have grip texture on them, which feels nice to touch and makes it a little bit easier to press. It's got a noise reducing waterproof sub mic here on the top. Super durable edges on the corners and here is this phone's claim to fame this is the loudest and most powerful speaker on any smartphone in the whole world the volume can reach up to 109 decibels now that is 11 decibels less than a jet engine and i'm not even kidding the speaker also has a cool dynamic led circle of rgb lights around it that lights up when you play music or get a call and we will test that out later You've got your 48 megapixel main camera, 20 megapixel Sony infrared night vision photo and video camera with LED fill light, 2 megapixel macro camera, and LED flashlight here on the back. The material on the back of the phone is a scratch resistant texture designed to mimic aramid fiber. Now aramid fiber is a bulletproof material that is used in high end military equipment and aerospace engineering. So that is pretty heavy duty. There's a fingerprint sensor here in the middle. Middle, and at the bottom, there's the air pressure balance hole and charging connection spots for the charging dock. On the side, there's the nano SIM slash micro SD card slot with waterproof rubber cover and the push to talk user defined button that we will check out later. Under the hood, it's rocking the Helio G85 CPU with 8 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of internal storage. And it is certified IP68 slash IP69K and mil stand. 810H, so it can allegedly survive repeated drops from 1.5 meters or 5 feet and 30 minutes under 1.5 meters or 5 feet of water. Now we will see about that here in a minute. On the front, there's also an optical proximity sensor and ambient light sensor and a receiver here at the top. Now keep watching because I'm about to run this thing over with a car. But first, let's unbox this glory charging dock. And there you go. It's a nice little charging dock. Feels pretty solid. You got your USB-C port here on the back definitely sturdy enough to hold this monster phone now this is going for fifty dollars on amazon check out the description below for a link okay now let's crank up this speaker and run this thing over with a car wake up today's gonna be a good day 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 wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of the day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 
I definitely can confirm that this thing is very loud. Big shout out to Nefx for the sick copyright free music. Let's check the damage. The speaker and the camera lenses are scuffed up a little bit from rubbing it on the concrete. Other than that, it seems perfectly fine, and it is still loud enough to wake the dead. You would have no idea that this was just run over by 2,500 pounds of high-strength steel. It also looks like the screen protector has shifted a little bit, and it has some bubbles around the edges. Now make sure to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this. But we are not done yet. We've still got lots of cool stuff to do in this video. Now let's check out this this dynamic LED circle for a second here. So here's how you turn on the speaker lights. You go into settings, you scroll down to dynamic LED circle, and it's got five different settings that I'll show you right now. There's breath, cycle, spectrum, dance, and warp. And the last two, dance and warp, change based on the music that you're listening to, which is pretty cool. Now they say this is louder than a hair dryer. Let's find out. That's pretty crazy. I mean, you can hear the hairdryer, but you can hear this 109 decibel speaker much louder over the hairdryer. <laughs> Looks like that checks out. It is louder than a hairdryer. Now keep watching because next is the toilet test. So I heard that this speaker gets a little wonky if you put it in the water, but eventually dries out and is fine. So hey, you know what that means. It's time for the toilet test. <laughs> Yeah, it, it sounds a little fuzzy. It's supposed to go away though, so let's see if it does. It is still ridiculously loud even while you're pouring water directly into the speaker. And that bass is no joke. I'm gonna try blowing on the speaker. sounds a little better. Now check this out. This speaker is so powerful, it's blowing the water out by itself. See the water shooting out of it? That is impressive. This thing is crazy powerful. The phone still seems perfectly fine after the toilet and faucet test. What other crazy stuff did they say you can do with this? Give me a phone. What? What are you doing? You told me a phone can hammer nails. Your phone can hammer nails. Hammer nails. Hammer nails. Oh yeah. Certified to US military standards. Extremely rugged. Pound nails with it. Oh yeah, we gotta try that. Now it has been seven minutes and there's still some water in the speaker here. Let me blow on it and see if I can get it out. Now let's see if the speaker is still fuzzy. Nope, the speaker is back in action, full effect after like seven minutes, so not bad. Now it's time for some nails. Oh, the speaker casing took a hit. So a word to the wise, if you use this thing to pound nails, just don't do it with the speaker part. The speaker quality sounds a little jacked up now after using it to drive nails, but it's still just as loud. That bulletproof material used on the back here is no joke. It actually works great at driving these nails in.
Let's see if we can pound nails with the screen itself. Now I literally just pounded nails with the screen itself and it's totally fine. The screen protector has some dings in it, but underneath the screen is fine. Let's go back, do a quick damage assessment and some benchmarks, and then we'll test the night vision. So after running it over with a car, throwing it in the toilet, running water over it, and using it like a hammer to drive nails, I gotta say this thing is looking pretty good. The only damage is the screen protector is a little moved and bent on the edges, there's some dings in the screen protector, and the main problem here is the speaker. This is definitely a weak spot for the durability here, this speaker grate. Now it was fine after getting run over by the car, but beating nails with it definitely screwed it up. Oh. It actually still works though, which is impressive, and it's just as loud. Now look at the rest of the back of this case though, it's totally fine. There's no scuffs, there's no scratches. Now if they could use that material to make the covering for this speaker, this phone would be unstoppable. The sides are fine, and you can see that the screen is flat and it's not bent or anything. Let's do some benchmarks, and then we'll go drop the phone out of a moving car. Shout out to Geekbench5. You can see this phone scored 337 on the single core score, and 1290 on the multi-core. Now what does that mean? Well, let's compare that to two other leading rugged phones out there like the Doji V20 and the Nokia XR20, and you can see that they both outperform the H5 Pro, but they're using different processors. Let's compare the H5 Pro's scores with the Ulephone Power Armor 14 Pro, which uses the same Helio G85 octa-core chipset that the H5 Pro does. You can see it's pretty much the same. The Power Armor 14 Pro has a slightly better single core score and the H5 Pro has a slightly better multi-core score. So it's roughly the same benchmark, which is good to see. I am a little concerned about taking photos and video now, though, to be honest. You see how the lenses and sensors are a little scuffed up? I don't know. Well, let's see how she does. It's time to test the night vision. The night vision is actually pretty incredible. I used it to see in the dark to unlock my car, which I can usually never see because it's pitch black out there, but with this thing, it was no problem. Now let's go drop this thing out of a moving vehicle and run it over again but this time we'll film it with the phone's camera and see what happens. That is insane! This thing just got ran over by a car. I ran the camera lens and night vision sensors over with another 2,500 pounds of steel. And it recorded the whole thing, no problem. There is no problem with the footage at all. It is totally smooth. That right there is pretty amazing. Also, here's some test photos that I shot during the day. And the camera and video quality seems excellent. The macro photos look great. And you can even take macro video. Let's talk pros and cons. First, the pros. This thing is crazy durable. The camera and night vision quality is good. It's got a ridiculously loud speaker with good quality sound. It's got a huge battery and it comes with Android 12. What about the cons? Now the soft spot for durability is definitely the casing around the speaker. So if you want to use this thing to pound nails, just make sure you don't hit the nail with the speaker and you'll be good. Another bad thing is it's pretty big and heavy and it kind of weighs down your pocket. You might not be able to get the newer versions of Android OS with this. The CPU is not the fastest and there's no 5G. So what's the bottom line? The AGM H5 Pro seems like a great device all around. It's built like a tank and you would have to try very hard to break this thing. This is a great phone for anyone who drops their phone all the time like me. The speaker would be great for somebody who works in a super noisy environment and needs to hear when their phone goes off. It'd also be good for truckers who need the loudest alarm in the world or if you just want to blast some sick music as loud as you possibly can. This phone is probably not for you if you want a really lightweight phone or if you need a blazingly fast CPU or if you don't want to be stuck on Android 12. Subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos like this and check out this playlist of our best rugged smartphone videos and I will see you in the next video.